In this video, we'll walk you through some important tips about the Revelation home theater chair, along with showing you how to set one up. Whether you just purchased your Revelation chair or you're in the market to buy a new home theater chair and wanna know how easy it will be to set this one up, this video will be perfect for you. Now, the Revelation chair is the ultimate chair for your home theater, so if you haven't heard about it yet and you wanna learn more about all the great features that these chairs have to offer, check out our full review that we'll link in the description below. One of the first steps you'll want to take is to measure your door width to make sure these chairs will fit into your theater room. The height of the chair without the back installed is roughly 28 inches, which is important because you will flip the chair on its side to get it through the door. If you have a standard door frame with a width of about 30 inches or more, you should be good to go. If you're not ready to install your chairs right away when you get them, you're gonna need to plan a place to store them. You will wanna plan for this as the two arm boxes are roughly 40 inches by 30 inches by 35 inches, while the left arm and right arm boxes are roughly 33 inches by 30 inches by 35 inches. The boxes can safely be stacked too high when storing to maximize your floor space. Just make sure that you have a helper when stacking them as these boxes weigh in just north of 150 pounds each. Each. Now we do have multiple configuration options listed on our website for two chair rows, three chair rows, four chair rows, love seats, and even more depending on what works best for your space. If you need help deciding which chair setup is right for your space, check out our home theater design tool at audioadvice.com. Now in this, you can plug in your room dimensions and adjust all the numbers of chairs, add your speakers and everything else. Now the tool will do all the calculations for you to show you where everything should go. Now, if you do have more questions, our experts are ready to help you by phone, chat, or you can even stop by one of our award-winning showrooms. Another important aspect to consider is where to place your power if you are doing a new build. You will wanna place your floor outlet roughly 22 inches off the back of the wall to hide it in the center under the chair. Also, make sure the headrest of your chair is at least eight inches from the back wall in the upright position to give clearance to be able to fully recline unimpeded. Now, don't worry if you are retrofitting an existing theater or building one in an existing room and don't wanna add additional outlets. You can easily just run extension cords to plug these chairs in. We do recommend a dedicated 20 amp circuit, but they only use two amps per chair. So if you are doing a retrofit, a 15 amp circuit will be just fine in most cases. Just ensure that you place your extension cords and wires from chair to chair in a smart place so that they're not getting crushed when your chair reclines and your guests don't trip and cause a safety hazard. We do realize that not everyone may place these chairs against the back wall. Now in these cases, you must measure the distance from your back wall to the back of the headrest, then add about 14 inches to this measurement to find the correct location for your floor outlet so it's in the center under your chair. Okay, now it's time to open the box and get your chair into position. For this part, we recommend you ask a friend to give you some help. To start, if you're able to get the box into your room, then move it close to the final position the chair will be in. Otherwise, open the box just outside the room and carry in the base and the back separately. To make the base fit through your door, just tip it on its side like we mentioned earlier. It's typically best to flip the box upside down and open it from the bottom. From there, you can just bend the flaps back and gently roll the box right side up. Now from there, go ahead and remove all the plastic and foam protection and you're now left with the base of the chair and the back of the chair that are ready to be attached to each other. Now you're gonna take the back of the chair Slowly guide it to line up with the rails and slide it into position until you hear it lock. Once you have the back slid in and locked into place properly to the base, you're gonna to wanna to connect the wires from the back to the base. Now grab the wires from the base. You'll see one is yellow that says headrest. The other is silver and it says lumbar and has a red stripe on it. Grab the other one coming from the back with a red stripe and these two will connect to each other and make sure you lock them in place. The other ones, the headrest that does not have a red stripe on it, We'll connect to the one without a red stripe coming from the back. So go ahead and connect those two and again, lock them in place and you can secure them right there and you are good to go. All right, the next step is to take this piece of fabric and you'll see there's Velcro here and Velcro here. You're simply gonna wanna connect those two. Just make sure it's nice and tight and connect the Velcro to give it that seamless look. From here, recline the chair all the way back and test all the buttons. While it's reclined back, go ahead and zip the crumb catcher together so you can make sure that you can keep it nice and clean for that first movie you watch. And that's it, your chair is now built and ready to be moved into its final position. Now a quick pro tip, if you are assembling a multi-chair row, we suggest starting at the center of the row and working your way out. You will wanna ensure that you have your center chair exactly where you want it. Then you can work your way out from there using the pre-installed alligator clips to secure each adjoining chair. 
Our home theater design tool will tell you exactly how far away from your screen your chair should be, how high and deep you will want your riser, and everything else that you'll need to know. However, a good rule of thumb here is that if you have a row with an odd number of chairs, find the center mark for the row and the center mark of the middle chair and line those up. Now, if you have a row with an even number of chairs, find the center mark for the row and then line that up with the middle center mark of the middle armrest. If your chairs are gonna be on a riser, you will need to have a minimum depth of at least six feet to be able to recline fully. If you wanna be able to walk in front of the chairs while they're reclined, we suggest going with at least a seven foot deep riser and maybe even more. But again, just chat or call with our experts and make sure you get your riser depth and height perfect. I'll also link some videos in the description to help you out there. All right, that's it. It's really that easy. Your Revelation chairs are now set up and it's time to enjoy a movie. I hope this video has given you some good tips and helped you get your chair set up properly. If you want to learn more about the Revelation Home Theater chairs, check the link in the description to our full review and learn how we designed them to be the ultimate home theater chair. Now, if you have any more questions, you could just call, chat, or drop by one of our award-winning showrooms and our experts would be happy to help you out. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out any of our latest content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.